Three Little Pigs. Three little piggies made their houses out of hay, hoping to ward off the bad wolf. Oh no! The wolf came and huffed and puffed, then he let out a puff. Down fell the little piggy's house. Three little piggies made their houses out of clay, hoping to ward off the bad wolf. Oh no! The wolf came and huffed and puffed, then he let out a puff. Down fell the little piggy's house. Three little piggies thought, what if some brick they bought could build a house from that bad wolf? Think, think. If they built a house real quick using some bright red brick, then they could keep their pretty house. Three little piggies built their houses out of brick, hoping to ward off the bad wolf. Oh no! The wolf came and huffed and puffed, then he let out a puff. Poor wolf, our house is staying up. Once upon a time there were three brown bears and they lived in the deep dark woods. One fine day as the porridge cooled, they walked around the neighborhood. The porridge was too hot! Down the path through the deep dark woods, a little girl skipped along. Goldilocks was the little girl's name and she didn't know right from wrong. kitchen she saw three bowls on the kitchen table she grabbed a chair and climbed right up as fast as she was able yummy porridge she took a taste from papa's bowl yuck it's much too hot she took a taste from mama's bowl yuck it's much too cold she took a taste from baby's bowl this one tastes just right And she ate with a spoon And very, very soon She swallowed every bite Look at those comfy rocking chairs She sat down on Papa Bear's chair This is much too hard She sat down on Mama Bear's chair This is much too soft She sat down on Baby Bear's chair This one feels just right and she rocked and she rocked till the chair fell apart She had quite a fright Ouch! Ooh, look at those comfy beds! She laid down on Papa Bear's bed This is much too hard She laid down on Mama Bear's bed This is much too soft She laid down on Baby Bear's bed This one feels just right She pulled back the covers and snuggled in and then turned off the light. Good night. Someone's been eating from my bowl, said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been eating from my bowl, said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been eating from my bowl, and there's nothing left for me. A baby bear was very sad, as sad as sad can be. Some
someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair and broke it all apart. And Baby Bear began to cry with all his little heart. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And she is still there. And Goldilocks woke up to see three fairy angry bears. Not so fast. Said Papa We'd better have a talk. I'm very, very sorry, said little Goldilocks. Goldilocks and Baby Bear became the best of friends. And that, my little Dewey, is how the story ends. And the beanstalk. I like that one. Okay, Dewey. Shall we? Little Jack and his hopeful mom were poor and had no food. So Jack traded their cow for some magic beans to a man in the neighborhood. Plant them in your garden. You'll find a huge surprise. And just like that, a beanstalk grew so high it touched the sky. Wow! Three, five, four, four. The beanstalk grew and touched the sun. Three, five, fiddly dumb. I think I'll climb. It looks like fun. So Jack climbed up the leafy vines to a castle in the sky. But when he got there, what did he see? A giant meal, oh my! Oh! He turned to face the giant, a scary hungry man, who wanted Jack for breakfast. No! This was not in little Jack's plan. What have I here? Yum, yum, yum. Fee, five, fiddly dum. I'm gonna eat you. Run, run, run. <laughs> the giant roared, but Jack broke free and listened to him rant. Lay golden eggs, you foolish hen, and don't tell me you can't. The giant pointed to a golden harp with the face of a sad, sad girl. And he ordered her to play a tune, then he shook the whole wide world. Fee, fi, fo, fum, the giant's work is never done. Fee, fi, fiddly dum, a boy for breakfast, yum, yum, yum. But the music made the giant sleep, so Jack, he made some tracks. Down the stalk, he slipped and slid, and headed for his axe. He chopped off half the beanstalk, the giant tumbled down. The hen and harp came down as well, and the giant broke his crown. Away from the giant one, fee fi fiddly dum. The hen and the harp escape that chum. Now the hen laid eggs that Jack could sell to buy back his lovely cow. And the harp now smiled and loved to sing. Have a listen. Whoa! A party was in order. 
and all the neighbors came. Jack was very famous. Everyone knew his name. Fee, fi, fo, fun. Jack the hero saved his mum. Fee, fi, fiddly dum. Cake and milk for everyone. <laughs>